Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and this reading is for the general collective of Capricorn. It won't be for everyone watching, so if it resonates with you, please comment below. And if not, be sure to check your moon, rising, and Venus signs for messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid. Feel free to reverse roles however they apply to you. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss future readings. So welcome and thank you so much to my new and returning subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for all of your support and love. It is so appreciated. And so for those of you who are brand new to the channel, don't forget to check the description box below for all of the ways you can reach out to me, including social media links, my website, and a link to my new channel, Woo Works LLC, where I will be doing things like guided meditations coming this fall. So if that is your thing, please subscribe subscribe over there as well and share with someone else who enjoys the things that you enjoy. So of course, this is going to be your intimate extended bonus reading for the season of Gemini. So congratulations, Capricorn. Once again, you have made it in the top views of your element. Um, so obviously I'm not surprised. You guys are always up there. Um, but oh, we also had a couple of new people come up in there and, and kind of take the top spots this time, which I was a little like shocked, but it's okay. It's okay. We need to give some other people a chance to, right? Um, let some other signs get some bonus readings, right? So anyways, of course you guys know this is going to be a reading for 18 and up only. So if you are under the age of 18, please click off and have a blessed day in the Lord as I will be using the Tarot of Sexual Magic. And some of the images in that deck are um, very scandalous. So we don't want any youngins eyes and ears to be scarred for life if that is you exit left and for those of you sticking around let's get into it with the romance angels oh my god so we've already got cards flipping out onto the floor so first of all um, as you all know uh, this reading is going to be for you about your person this could also be for the crotch washer so whoever you are as long as you're not forcing the storylines to fit or let these tarot readings take you away like Calgon okay if it's not your reading it is okay so let's see what else we have we've already got one and a couple more oh my goodness Capricorn so we've got heart to heart conversations give your relationship a chance and keep an open mind interesting so <clears throat> let's check and see what's on the bottom of the deck all right so in the recent past we've got unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so since this reading is about your person i am only going to assume that they were or perhaps still are entangled in some sort of a situation where they don't really feel that love okay they are not maybe not attracted to this person anymore um maybe this could also be a situation where um you know they are kind of bound to someone and, and maybe they feel forced to kind of carry out, out this love but there's definitely not enough going on in this connection that um they want to keep it going right and so perhaps this person is wanting to reach out to you capricorn and have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations um, and honestly discuss their feelings with you, okay? Um, <clears throat> I can see here also we've got these angels in the background kind of nudging these two into talking. This guy looks way less than enthused, by the way. Um, <clears throat> but you get the drift, okay? So Capricorn, that person right here, this guy looking like, what the fuck? This guy could be you, all right? Wondering, like, why does this person want to come and talk to me if they are uh, tangled up in their own situation, right? So with the give your relationship a chance, Capricorn, I feel as if that's going to be what's required, okay? Um, regardless of the situation that this person was or is in, if they're going to come to you and have these heart-to-heart conversations, it's going to require work, okay? It's going to require you to actually give this person a chance all right and so obviously if you're going to need to give them a chance there's probably something that happened in the past that's going to require you to do that um, this could also be someone that you normally wouldn't give a chance to since we have the keep an open mind card so your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations i feel very strongly capricorn that you're connecting with someone who is not usually your type okay um, <clears throat> this could be someone very very different from you who you typically would 
wouldn't give the time of day to. Um, or like I said, if this person was entangled in some previous situation, that might make you feel as if this person um, <clears throat> doesn't deserve a chance maybe for some of you. But overall, whatever was happening before wasn't working for this person and they know it, okay? And you know it. And so right now what's required is honesty. It's feelings being being shared um, and it's going to require you to be open and and fluid, okay? So let's go ahead and see what we've got in the tarot and find out what is happening in this person's conscious awareness. Ooh listen Capricorn I'm sick and tired of this damn Emperor coming out in every single one of your damn readings like I'm done <laughs> um, we got daddy Emperor popping up obviously we know this is divine masculine okay so that is popping up in their thoughts and I'm actually going to kind of try to keep this all together um, so what's going on in their feels what are they feeling for you Capricorn how are they feeling about you about this connection with you Ooh, we've got the sun. Oh my goodness. All right, Capricorn. And also, how are they viewing you? Or how are they viewing this connection? Okay, so we've got the three of swords coming up in the reverse. Let's see how this person intends to move forward or what actions they're wanting to take. All right, so we've got the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So I love how the Three and the Seven are both in reverse. We've already kind of touched on the fact that this person could have potentially put you in a third party. Um, and I say put you in a third party, but obviously everyone was willing here, right? Um, but since this card pops up in reverse, we will talk about it, okay? So finally, what is this person's true desire or their desired outcome with you? We've got the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. So what's going on at the bottom of the deck? Wow. So we've got the Queen of Cups. So this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, I see this as someone who is very empathetic, very sweet, kind, loving. Um, I mean, as you can see, she's over here motorboating this dude, and he's like all for it. Um, but, you know, this this takes a level of trust, right? You don't just let anybody motorboat your titties. You, you let the one that you love do that, right? And so the Queen of Cups is someone who is nurturing, who is caring, who, who loves unconditionally no matter what. Um, but also, like the King of Cups, they don't chase love because they are love, okay? Okay. So perhaps in the recent past, um, maybe this person has come to the realization that what they want is someone that will love them unconditionally, regardless of, of what's happened in their past, right? It's like, I see this coming home moment with this man and this woman here, and she's like, it's okay, honey. I'm going to hug you to my bosom and everything will be fine. That's what this person is desiring, I feel. They want to be with someone who truly loves them and sees them for who they are, um, not something where they feel like they have to constantly be like, look at this guy. They don't want to feel like they constantly have to be kissing someone's ass or or like bending over backwards to make a relationship work. That's not a real relationship. And so perhaps this person is coming to that realization um, of what love truly means to them and uh, perhaps rounding off the ideas of what the relationship is that they want in their life, okay? Now, with the emperor popping up in their conscious awareness, I kind of feel as if this person whether they are thinking about you as their divine masculine or whether they're becoming consciously aware of their own divine masculine energy and rising up in that, it could be kind of a combination of both, okay? So when I see the emperor or the empress, I always think of twin flames, soulmates, um, you know, this is the king of all kings, right? Someone who has mastered all of the lessons of every element. And so we don't call this the emperor or daddy for no reason. This is someone who is, is wise, someone who communicates, someone who loves deeply and who is passionate in their pursuits. But not just that, they put the work into the physical as well. So <clears throat> whether this person is consciously aware of their own divine masculine energy or whether they're just thinking about simply taking control or taking action on this situation, um, 
they are really feeling the need for this new beginning, okay? As you can see, we got them doing it on the basket of fruit outside, not giving a fuck. Um, who sees it? They're out, they're out here naked just doing it, right? They don't care. They don't care about the sun on their backs. They don't care about anything. All these people care about is a new beginning, something that is prosperous, joyous, something that is going to lead into, into a happy life, okay? Um, masculine energy once again, okay? The sun is a yes card. And so in their feelings, it's like they feel like, yes, they have found the partner. They have found their divine counterpart, someone that they want to to truly um, bask in the sun with, okay? Um, I don't feel as if this unrequited love situation from the past was something that they could really do that. I feel as if the sun really wasn't shining in that situation, okay? Now with the three of swords coming up in the reverse, obviously we got this woman laying here asleep, titties out, and this man is admiring her, okay? Playing the harp nonetheless. Um, but the issue with this is, and sorry about the uh, the water filters like going crazy right now. Um, <laughs> the thing about this energy, though, is is the fact that we've got this jealous and looming character here in the background. Okay, obviously she doesn't look happy. She looks kind of fucking pissed, actually. Um, we've also got these candles burning. It's almost like a ritual is happening and they are obviously having this amazing connection, right Capricorn? But there's a lingering third party energy in the background. Since this card comes up in the reverse, I really feel as if this person is viewing you as, um, as no longer allowing this energy of the third party or any heartbreak from the past to affect you, okay? Kind of see this as them viewing you as healing from this situation, perhaps, okay? Healing from the heartbreak or healing from the energy of maybe like like you're feeling watched even. Um, some of you could really feel as if there are some dark energies kind of lingering around you. So, you know, if you're involved in some sort of a third party situation, always protect your energy, okay? Um, you never know what's going on behind the scenes in these situations. And, um, and it's always good to just ground yourself and protect yourself, especially during a time like eclipse season, all these retrogrades happening. Um, this is a, a huge time for reflection of the past. Um, and on how you communicate with others. And so with them viewing you as kind of getting over this energy and healing from this heartbreak, they intend to to make things right, okay? Intuitively, it's like they know that they have the keys to fixing the situation. Um, and with the Seven of Swords in the reverse, I think what they're really wanting to do is be honest, okay? They're wanting to reveal their secrets and, and let you in on, on their knowledge, okay? Whatever it is that's been going on behind the scenes, these heart-to-heart -heart conversations are going to need to happen, Capricorn, and they know that. Okay, High Priestess is that raw divine feminine energy, that balance energy, um, that intuition. And and I think, like I said, they're, they're knowing that they're the key. They're the solution to turning this around and making things right. They want to make things... Um, they want to make things to where it's smoothed over and there's no more deception, no more lies, no more secrets because this energy right here, okay, I feel like, again, this is one of those unrequited situations. This man has got his head in his hands. She's got her back turned to him with her head up in the air. Like They look like they've been arguing, okay, and this man looks depressed. So Capricorn, perhaps your person has felt stuck and trapped for a really long time in a situation that wasn't going anywhere. And now they're coming to the surface and realizing like, oh, wait a second, I've actually been the one who's had the answers the whole time. I've got the keys to making this happen. So in a sense, your person recognizing their divine masculine energy and rising up in that power is also causing them to realize that the divine feminine energy has always been within them, okay? They're starting to open their eyes and see the situation for what it really is okay now with the four of pentacles coming up as their desired outcome or their true desire um this is the image of someone who is is not wanting to let go okay as you can see she's 
It's almost like she got ready for a sexual encounter, but maybe this dude took too long. Now she's out here, you know, falling back asleep, okay? I think this person might be afraid that you've gone back to sleep in a sense or that you've closed your eyes or turned your back to them in this process of them figuring their life out. Um, they don't desire to ever let you go, Capricorn. This is also the energy of someone building their stability. I also see this as someone setting them up, themselves up for a lack mentality, okay? Once you start clinging too hard to the physical, um, that's when things kind of start falling apart in a sense. When you cling too hard to something as if you can lose it, um, the universe takes that as you're willing to, right? And so... This person just doesn't want to let you go. They they want you to be awake. They want you to participate in this journey with them. And they want you to know, too, that they're building on their stability. They're working on it, okay? So let's go ahead and get some clarity for their thoughts. So we've got judgment. Interesting. So we've got the red string of fate, the spirit baby. We've got judgment tooting the old horn. Um... I think that this person is consciously aware. Maybe they've had some some come to Jesus moments, some realizations, um, some sort of an awakening where they've realized like their greater purpose here. Um, there have been lots of dreams and things ramping up. I mean, who knows Capricorn? This person could potentially be dreaming about um, a child that the two of you are supposed to have, spirit baby, um, remembering the, the contract perhaps the two of you agreed to before incarnating here. This could be a twin flame story, okay? And so I see this energy as like this person being reminded of their true power and their true purpose here and being pointed back on the path of, of where they're supposed to be headed, okay? So let's clarify the sun for their feelings. And we had another one actually um, flip over too. So, wow, okay. So in their feelings, we've got the Ten of Wands and the Page of Wands. So I feel like this person has been carrying this load for a long time and they're just ready to release it, okay? They're ready to ravage your ass in the woods, Capricorn, and they're ready to unload their burden, if you know what I'm saying. So we know this to be a really long and tough cycle that this person has probably pushed long and hard in. Ten of Wands is also the energy of living for others, okay? So this person has been busting their ass, not just for themselves, but like I said, to please other people, to please whoever this other energy is that they've been giving their time and their effort to, and it's not been happening, okay? With the Page of Wands, I feel as if their true desire and, and their feelings is like they want this passionate new start with you. Okay, they've perhaps had this idea in their mind for a long time and they've been really um, they've been really feeling the need to like express themselves to you. OK, in a passionate way. And as you can see, we've got this rendezvous in the woods. Um, you know, she's kicking her shoes off. They're about to get it on. Her hair is so long. Oh, my gosh. I wish my hair was that long. Um but yeah, Page of Wands is the inspiration. It's the idea. And I think that they are realizing that they're the ones that need to take action here, Capricorn. They know that in order for them to do so and for this sun to rise, they're going to need to put down the burden of this previous connection. And you know what? This has been a common theme in these readings, okay? Um, but we've been talking about this. Like I said, retrograde season, eclipse season, this is the time to release and get rid of anything that's holding you back, okay? Now is the time to have those realizations and reflect on the way we've been living our lives and make it different, okay? People are recognizing what they're here for and understanding where they are putting their energies in places that it doesn't belong, okay? So let's get a clarifying card for how they're viewing you. Yeah, so we've got the Five of Cups. So like I said, that this person is aware that they broke your heart, okay? Um, they perhaps see you in a state of reflection right now, Capricorn. Um, as you can see, she's looking into the reflection in the water as this man is on his knee. And she's like, mm, I'm not really that interested. You're going to need to wait. So I think that this person is viewing you as heartbroken, sad, um, 
perhaps even devastated in the wake of whatever happened between the two of you regarding this third party situation, okay? Um, but they also see you, Capricorn, as potentially, like I said, getting over the heartbreak, realizing that you've been focusing too hard on the past and not seeing this as an opportunity to move forward into real true spiritual divine union okay um, I think Capricorn you're starting to see through all of the smoke and mirrors of separation and heartbreak and sadness and pain and you're focusing now on that reunion you're focusing on the love that was left there okay it's not all just about the sadness and sometimes we've got to experience that loss in order to truly recognize and appreciate the journey for what it is okay so let's go ahead Ooh, just caught a glimpse of the star so I feel like that's a message to Capricorn, like don't lose hope in this situation, especially if you've been wishing on this for a while. Um, things take time, okay, and time is fluid. So, you know, it might seem like forever, but when looking back on the situation, you might say, wow, that I can't even believe how much we've gone through and, and what we've done to get where we are, right? It might not seem as long once you're looking back on it. So let's clarify the high priestess. Oh, shit. Okay, so first of all, we've got the high priestess again to clarify the high priestess. And then the ten of swords. So, again, this person understands that what needs to happen is an ending. Okay, it needs to end. It needs to be deaded, cut off. Um, intuitively, they've always known this, that they're the key to making this happen, okay? And I think the problem here is, as you can see, we've got these two lovers in the window. Um, I'm going to assume, Capricorn, that that's you and your person, okay? Obviously, this this woman here is, is distraught. She feels probably betrayed and hurt and backstabbed. And that could also represent you, Capricorn, but I think that what this person intends to do essentially is is cut off this third party and leave them heartbroken. Okay, um, the Ten of Swords is like a final ending of something that was toxic, something that wasn't working. Um, again, a betrayal, a separation, an ending. They know that that's what needs to happen in order for them to be able to come clean and really truly be honest with you about how they feel. Okay. So let's clarify the four of pentacles and we've got the nine of pentacles. So once again, their true desire is to break free of this situation and become single so that they can truly um, admire you, so that they can truly cherish you, Capricorn. Okay, this is that pre-empress energy, all my single ladies, all my motherfucking single ladies. Okay, this person wants to break free so that they can put their energy and all of their coins and efforts into the physical world with you, Capricorn. All right? So we got old Creeper McGee cutting off some hair. Um, you know, whether you feel it's creepy or endearing, I feel as if this person maybe also has been holding on to a locket of your hair or holding on to a token of affection perhaps that you've given them. Um, that is like kind of keeping them going in this situation, okay? Now, bottom of the deck, we've got the two of pentacles. I love this man coming up from behind, and this woman is looking out the window at the star, okay? Um, she doesn't even, I don't think she even knows that he's behind her. I have a feeling, Capricorn, this person is going to take you by surprise when these conversations are had, okay? Um, and it will require you to keep an open mind because what's happening for this person is lots of changes, okay? Maybe they've juggled you in the past. Maybe they made you feel as if you weren't important enough to, to make that solid offer towards. But ultimately, these changes that are happening for this person in their life are not easy, okay? This is the dance of change. It's not something that just comes in like, yay, we're making changes. No, this is difficult. It's hard. It requires a lot of work and balance, okay? So perhaps this person understands too that in order to move towards their true love, they're going to need to make some very difficult changes in the physical world first, okay? So let's get some Under the Roses cards and see what is the challenge for this person. Okay, so we've got the rider and we've got the dog. So the rider is the Nine of Cups, okay? Also, I think of the Knight of Cups, um, someone who comes in gallantly and, and 
and lets their feelings be known. Okay, we know the Nine of Cups is also a wish fulfillment, um, but this card is uh, about a lover, okay? It's about desire. Um, it's also about visiting someone. So I feel like that's the challenge right now for this person is, is making this wish come true, okay? It's actually getting on the horse and making it happen. Um, because I think that there's the energy there right now for this person, but it's the doing it that's the problem. And that was the other um, issue that came up in the last reading I did as well. So you could be connecting with a Libra. But I also see the Ten of Cups here with the dog. Okay, so we've got the nine and the ten of cups. Funny how we had the nine, wait, where was it? What was I just talking about? We had the ten of wands, ten of swords, talking about ending a cycle, right? And then the nine of pentacles. So with the nine and the ten here, like I said, this person is so close to completing this cycle, okay? And they have been loyal to you while doing it. I have a feeling that this person, Capricorn, hasn't really given much affection or time or energy to this other unrequited person in a while. Um, and especially if they've been connecting with you throughout, I would just simply imagine that the more they connect with you, Capricorn, the less time and energy they have for this other person. Eventually, they're going to make the full transition and close out that cycle. Um, but I think also with the dog, this is talking about loyalty and trust and friendship, okay? This is someone who was faithful till the end. So perhaps that could also be their struggle. If they're married or if they're in a like committed relationship, their struggle could be the fact that they are a loyal individual and they don't want to ruffle any feathers. Perhaps this is kind of one of those like conflicting situations. Well, like I don't want to be with this person anymore. I want to be with someone else and I want to make this offer towards them. But this goes against maybe like their their muggle morale, okay? And I say that because obviously there are tons of societal expectations and things ingrained into, into um, humans, okay? As we grow, um, things like organized religion and all kinds of stuff that make people feel obligated um, in the physical world when really the obligation is just um, a figment of their imagination, of their mind, okay? So this person definitely wants a new beginning. Um, they want to come forward with an offer of love, um, but their loyalty, it's almost like, it's like their best trait is also their worst trait, right? It's like they're their own worst enemy in a sense. They want to be loyal to you, Capricorn, but they've already made a promise to be loyal to someone else. And so that is the struggle and perhaps why it's taking them so long to close out the cycle for good, okay? Um, and also, guys, going back to that energy in the third party um, card, the Three of Swords, you know, keep in mind too, it's not just about, oh, this person has free will and they can make decisions and move away from that person if they want. Sometimes it's not that simple, okay? Especially with, with karmic partners and things. Karmic partners will go to any length, any length, to keep what they feel like belongs to them, okay? Um, we know that love isn't something that you can possess, but if someone is already in a situation and they feel their person slipping away, sometimes that triggers those people into doing things, okay? Um, taking revenge, spying, just in general, trying to sabotage. Um, and so just be careful. Again, I'm getting that same message of like, protect your energy, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and see, um, gosh, I need to get these cards organized. Let's see what we've got from the Lover's Oracles. And of course, this could be uh, advice from Spirit. Also, it could be messages from your person directly. Just depends on the context. So, whoop. all right. And we've got five. Okay, so let's take a gander. All right, so first of all, we've got um, some advice, okay? Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So this is a reminder, Capricorn, any, any doubts, anything that's still lingering in your mind that is conflicting in regards to what you're trying to manifest, now is the time to banish those thoughts, Okay? Banish the thoughts in your mind that keep you stuck in a place of doubt and fear. Allow yourself to create the room 
for your person to come in, okay? And this is also something I've been talking about on my channel recently. If you are on the twin flame journey and you're resonating with this storyline, you can't welcome your divine masculine back in if you're not willing to open the door, right? You can't welcome someone in if the door is closed, if your arms are folded. Um, you can't open yourself up to a new life and new possibilities if your mind is still closed off to envisioning those things or seeing them as a reality, okay? So that is a reminder for you. We also have look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So a lot of times when we do slip into those doubts and fears, it's really just our own... Um, it's like we're blocking ourselves, right? We're usually projecting our own insecurities and issues onto someone else. And so spirit is asking you to take a look at yourself and perhaps examine the ways in which you are blocked off or in which you are not actually ready and willing to accept this new beginning with your person, okay? Now during retrograde season is the time for reflection. I've probably said it 16 times in this video already, but that is what we're here for, okay? Mercury rec retrograde is a blessing. All retrogrades are. It gives us the opportunity to see things in a new way and allows us the opportunity to grow and expand and, and ascend, right? So now's the time to reflect and look within. We also have embrace through each other you find the missing pieces so you know twin flame journey once again we know that you are not like a part of someone else right you know that you're not like incomplete without someone else beside you you are whole and complete and beautiful on your own you don't need a physical meat suit standing next to you in order for you to be whole or complete okay if you are resonating with the twin flame journey, understand that you are the puzzle pieces that fit perfectly together, okay, because you're a part of the same puzzle. Um, it's not the same as soulmates, okay? And so I think the message here is that in the mirror, okay, there are things that you reflect back to your twin flame um, that are actually within you, okay? And so you're actually the puzzle pieces to each other because you're of the same soul. So you're never truly without your twin. You are always with them and they are always with you. As within, so without. So through each other, you find the missing pieces. As you go along on this journey, as I go along on my own journey, I'm constantly having revelations and epiphanies and seeing things differently and realizing all the ways in which I've actually been blocking myself. Okay, so now is the time to embrace the journey for what it is and remember that when you look in that mirror at your person, okay, and, and you are reflected back all of your own insecurities, fears, doubts, that is the time for you to embrace the fact that without this person, you wouldn't have awakened in, in the way that you have, okay? And so if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul, okay? So again, another message. Don't let your mind allow you to get swept away, right? Um, don't allow the thoughts or the narrative to control who you are and what it really truly is that makes you feel um, the feels, okay? Whatever the feels are for you. So the heart is the gateway to the soul. Once you open your heart and you're willing to actually feel those things and acknowledge those feelings and perhaps some feelings you, you haven't been acknowledging on purpose because you've been afraid to feel that pain. But through the pain is where the sun finally comes out, okay? So let's go ahead and get some eternal messages and end the reading. Let's see what your person would like to say to you, Capricorn. This deck is kind of choppy right now. I kind of feel like... These heart-to-heart -heart, heart -to -heart conversations might be a little um, tense or even awkward, perhaps, when you connect with this person. Um, just be open. Just be open to it, okay? Don't, don't have these conversations with an idea in your mind of how you want them to go, okay? Just let these conversations flow and be completely natural, okay? Be open to... Uh, hearing what they have to say and and be fluid in your response okay um so let's see what else do we have anything else anything else okay 
Wow, so Capricorn, let's gather. Oop. Oh my gosh, the best one. I'm saving that for last. All right, so here we go. First of all, we've got you're so different, but that's why I love you. Exactly. Twin flames are often very similar, but so different, right? Um, that is why it always seems so difficult in the 3D to be able to manifest these connections because they're not easy, okay? It's not easy to bring two people together from two completely different walks of life um, into a harmonious situation. It takes lots of work. So we've also got, I've been having dreams of you. So perhaps this person is trying to connect with you um, in the astral plane, trying to meet you in their dreams. Also in Mercury Retrograde, you might be having some insane dreams right now. And please pay attention to those dreams. I suggest keeping um, a dream journal next to your bed. I suggest sleeping with uh, a moonstone or an amethyst, um, something that will help you remember um, your dream. And so also I do think about the future and when I do, I think about you in it. Exactly. This person is really pondering what love means to them and who it is that they want standing by their side. Okay. Someone who the, uh, that offers that true unconditional love. They don't want to think about a future with someone where they're constantly having to kiss ass or bend over backwards. That's not a real relationship. That's not real love. Even though we're not together, I just can't see myself letting you go. Exactly why the Four of Pentacles comes up. I hold back because I don't want to be rejected. Okay, so again, with them seeing you as the Three of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups, it's almost like they expect you to reject them because they've put you through hell, Capricorn. So finally, um, not finally, just kidding. I've looked into tarot readings, okay? So if you're into it, I'm sure they're into it on some level. And even if they're not, um, obviously they want to learn more about you. They want to know what you're into. You really have been by my side. I see that and I do cherish you for that. So again, with this whole like motorboating scene, Capricorn, this woman right here with the crown, that's you. Okay, um, they see that you've been there for them unconditionally and they love you for it. I really do miss you a lot. Um, so yeah, Capricorn. And I just, my eyes were just drawn to this puppy dog with the sad eyes and the rose in his mouth. And finally, it was you. It was always you. So beautiful reading, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and again, you know, if you resonated with the reading, please comment below, share your story. Um, other than that, guys, I will be open up for private readings once I return from my vacation on June 9th. Um, so if you'd like to book a reading, feel free to do so. Just know that I won't be able to get to them until I return. Um, but if you book now, then I will clearly put you on a list and it will be first come first serve. So other than that, you guys, I hope you are enjoying um, Gemini season and I look forward to reading for you once again. I love you. Bye.